All right, we're doing a review of the First Alert explosive gas and carbon monoxide alarm. This is model GC01. Let's do a quick test to make sure it tests okay. It goes through this little test cycle. It's loud and obnoxious. Oh, look. Gas. Everybody run for your lives. First Alert, you just saved my life. But I want a better test than that, so let's do a little more of a brute force test. This is a propane stove. I'm going to turn the gas on high. We'll just fill up the room with gas and see what happens. Um, yeah, first alert. Saving my life. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> um, God, that reeks. Uh, doing nothing here. And what's interesting, let's uh, try unplugging it and see how the battery backup actually saves the day. Yeah, that's, that's the battery backup. Oh, it's on, it's off, and now it's gone. Now some of you may have noticed actually that this light came on right here, um, and there is a battery inside, I can show you right here, and it's a good battery. There's a light that says move to fresh air that comes on when I plug it in, but that light is on no matter what happens. If we take the unit outside, we can leave it out here all day and that light will still be on saying move to fresh air. Maybe that's a commentary from First Alert about Oakland Air. I'm gonna finish the review outside because it still reeks of propane in there, something First Alert never figured out. So that concludes our review with a solid F- minus for the First Alert explosive gas detector. The reason I'm doing this review is because one night we had a pretty bad propane leak in our rig and fortunately we were out that night and came home late. When we got home, the place reeked of propane a lot worse than it does now, which would have killed us and First Alert not a peep. So, thanks for alert. Find a different explosive gas detector.